Throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be, of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world, explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. One of life's biggest mysteries is just how the universe came to be, or even if there was anything before it. To the people who lived between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers millennia ago, in the beginning there was nothing but an endless sea of chaos. And from that primordial sea came its personification, the goddess Tiamat. Referred to as the Glistening One, and a symbol of primordial chaos, Tiamat is one of the oldest deities in Mesopotamian mythology, and in all of human history. In recent years, she has been portrayed as a gigantic monster, most often that of a dragon or a sea serpent, mirroring the disordered chaos that spawned her and that she embodies. Despite this popular depiction, there is no set description of Tiamat's appearance, only vague details within the Babylonian creation story, written in cuneiform upon the seven tablets of the Enuma Elish. Nevertheless, Tiamat is consistently revered as incredibly powerful, capable of many feats both remarkable and terrifying. The Enuma Elish begins with the creation of the universe, originally an undifferentiated mass of water swirling in chaos. The waters divided themselves. The fresh water formed the god Apsu, while Tiamat was formed from the salt waters of the primordial sea. And from their union were born the younger gods, beginning with Lamu and Lahamu, followed by Ansar and Kisar, then Anu, and so on and so on. At first all was well, but the younger gods began to increase in number and became more and more unruly, much to the chagrin of Tiamat and Apsu. After a conversation with their vizier, Mamu, Apsu was convinced that the only solution to their problem was to destroy their children. Apsu and Mamu agree to kill the younger gods, but Tiamat went to the god of wisdom, Ea, also known as Enki, and told him about the plot. Ea placed a magic spell on Apsu, putting him to sleep before killing him, and subsequently imprisoning Mamu. The Elder Gods, also her children, chastised Tiamat about the death of their father, claiming that when Apsu was killed, she did nothing, and when Mamu was imprisoned, she did not take action. They scolded her that she did not love them, and begged her to declare war on the Younger Gods, avenge her fallen lover, and put an end to the constant noise and aggravation. Tiamat listened to their counsel, and agreed to go to war, giving birth to eleven monsters, known as Tiamat's creatures, who would help her fight against the younger gods. She then shows the god King Yu, her lover and child, to lead her forces, and she gave him the Tablets of Destiny, legitimizing his rule and control of the fates. With this formidable army, Tiamat waged war against her younger children, and defeated them easily, but she did not kill them. The younger gods struggled against Tiamat's overwhelming power, but could not stand against King Yu and the Tablets of Destiny, or the eleven creatures of Tiamat. All seemed lost for the younger gods, that is until the son of Ea, Marduk, volunteered to battle Tiamat and her legions alone 
on the condition that afterwards he was to be made their king. Upon agreement, Marduk was armed with a magical mace and club, a strong net, a bow and arrow of the wind, and powers of lightning. Marduk engaged Tiamat in battle, swiftly defeated King Yu, and took the Tablets of Destiny. After a mighty battle that shook the primordial world, Tiamat was slain, her skull smashed by Marduk's mace, and then slashed in two with one of his arrows. From Tiamat's dead body, Marduk created the heavens and the earth. From her weeping eyes flowed the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, and her tail became the Milky Way. Marduk went on to organize the operations of the world and the underworld, and the poem ends with praise for Marduk as king of the gods. Though in recent years Tiamat has received popularity as a powerful monster resembling a dragon of unimaginable power. Her mythical counterpart is arguably much more than that. Born from the primordial waters of chaos, through her union with Apsu, she created the first generation of gods who would go on to usurp her power, and from her body created the earth and the very cosmos. In her myth, Serving as one of the earliest examples of the Chaos Kampf, Tiamat is a goddess turned monster, a creator turned destroyer, a protective mother turned wrathful avenger, whose very existence and subsequent death was vital to the creation of the universe. Tiamat may make an appearance in only one story of Mesopotamian mythology but she serves as the catalyst for the entire religion and its age-old stories.